Well, Mayor Giuliani said it was, it was likely to come within days. It could even come this week. It sounds like it's going to take a little bit longer than that. But what if you do, if the president does follow your initial recommendation, the recommendation you're leaning towards right now, not to sit down for an interview, what happens if Mueller then subpoenas the president? Uh, you have a, a, a fight under the Constitution because it really becomes an Article II question. So what would happen is if, if and I say if because we have no basis to know that uh, at this point that a subpoena would be filed. And by the way, interviews can still happen. There could, there could be written questions. There's other ways this can happen. The president may decide at the end he's going to not take his lawyer's advice. I mean, that's up to him at the end of the day. He's the president. He gets to make that decision. We're going to give our advice. But I think, look, if you get a subpoena, you file what's called a motion to quash. That will be argued at the district court. Then it would go to the Court of Appeals. Then it would go to the Supreme Court of the United States. From the Supreme Court of the United States, it goes back down uh, to the lower courts again. So if, if the special counsel makes a determination and gets the authority, and that's a question, they have to have the authority to seek that subpoena. A subpoena for live testimony has never uh, been tested in court as to a president of the United States, and there's a lot of language, uh, articles, and precedent against that. Uh, but if that decision is made, we'll, we'll, we'll prepare to handle it in court.